Fala pessoal, beleza? Fernando Rodrigo aqui na área novamente trazendo mais um capítulo de William Morgan e dessa vez galera, vamos dar sequência no capítulo aqui. Opa! Resumo. Ah, a gente já fez o que deveria ter feito e acho que agora a gente tem que ir na biblioteca, né? E vamos ver o que a gente pode encontrar aqui pro fundo. A gente já conversou com a. Com a, com a dona da, da biblioteca e vamos entrar aqui num bar aqui o, o Jack de um olho é como um em boa condição touching it would surely mean damaging it even though time has already done its part tá ok vamos entrar vamos ver o que a gente consegue uh, acho que aqui a gente já ah tá ok vamos conversar com um dono aqui. Bom dia, né? Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to the one-eyed Jack of the Bellamy family. Ah, uh, ok. Uh, tá perguntando qual a especialidade do do restaurante? Chicken, kid. Delicious. Galinha. Chicken. Only chicken? Absolutely, kid. Chicken is our main ingredient. Healthy, genuine, and it's not fattening, so you can eat as much as you want. A especialidade aqui do restaurante é galinha e eles têm servem mais de 100 pratos. How's business going? Como os negócios estão indo? Our forefather Eddie Bellamy left us a little nest egg to pursue our family mission. And what would that be? Find the chosen one. Tá, ele perguntou como que tá aí nos negócios, falou que o dinheiro nem tudo, o que importa é a felicidade dos clientes. Ah, I see there a free table. Can I see? Can I see? Ah, o que que é o escolhido? What do you mean by chosen one? The family legend says that Eddie Bellamy, progenitor of the Bellamy's, learned every recipe on how to cook chicken. But his efforts in the kitchen seemed not to be appreciated by customers. Who considered his recipes mere common chicken, bumpkins? So he created the only meal that was not chicken-based, the Bellamy cookie. The patrons seemed to be thrilled by the extraordinary innovation, but Eddie, given the indifference his cooking received before that, imposed one condition: only the chosen one could taste the cookie from the Bellamy recipe. And since then, from generation to generation, the search has kept going. Which cookie are we talking about? The sacred cookie. Contained in that glass case, built to keep its fragrance intact. How long has it been in that case? Since the day it was baked by Eddie Bellamy. And according to legend, it seems Eddie found a recipe for a pastry that could last for centuries without losing its fragrance. Do you mean that in all these years, nobody was able to earn the right? Absolutely not. That is the original cookie. Never has another one been baked. How can you recognize the chosen one? That'll be the only one who can pass the test. What test? The menu, kid. The menu. Only the worthy will listen to the entire menu without blinking an eye. And at that point, he'll have earned the cookie, along with honor and fame. Very epic. Where does the test take place? At the table. When you feel ready, take your seat, and we'll see if you might be the chosen one. But don't get your hopes up. We're extremely selective. Okay. Ele falou de um prato especial que apenas o escolhido pode é, usufruir, né, comer ou experimentar. E enfim, vamos ver. Vamos ver. Sim, all through Bone Town there are new gutters. Yes. The mayor decided to invest the city's money that way. It's not a bad idea. By channeling the rainwater, the city will ensure some drinkable water. The mayor? Yes, Steve Bonnet. He's the man who's been taking Steve care of the city Bonnet. for countless years. Luckily, he's in charge, or Bone Town would already be a ghost city. Okay, um... I've seen that all through Bone Town there are new gutters. Yes, the mayor decided to invest the city's money that way. It's not a bad idea. By channeling the rainwater, the city will ensure some drinkable water. The mayor? Yes, Steve Bonnet. He's the man who's been taking care of the city for countless years. Luckily, he's in charge, or Bone Town would already be a ghost city. Okay. Thanks. Valeu, obrigado pelas informações. And enjoy your stay in Bone Town. 
Ok. Vamos ver o que é isso aqui. Padlock. Preciso de uma chave. Ok. I see you want to prove yourself. When you're ready, call me. I'll be right there. I feel ready. Very well. I'm coming. Let's begin the test. We'll soon know if you're the chosen one or just another common person. Our menu includes Mushroom chicken, algae chicken, egg chicken, spicy chicken, sweet corn chicken, pepper chicken, olive chicken, Caraca, chicken como você vinegar, diz? blah blah, chicken, blah blah blah, free range, blah 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 blah. Hmm, kid, hey kid, the test. I'm sorry, for now, you're not the. And yet I was sure I'd be the one. Okay. Não sei o que aconteceu, mas a gente foi reprovado. Vamos ver o menu. Tá ok. Vamos ver esse sinal aqui. Não seria bom se eu tivesse o único sinal de street para o museu local. Eu tenho uma forte impressão de que se eu fizer isso, eu colocaria toda a cidade em perigo. E a cidade de Bone Town não parece que ela está experimentando sua golden age. Entendi nada. Ah. At first glance, it appears to weigh over a hundred kilos. Surely working out in the gym made me stronger, but I don't think it performed any miracles. Tá, tem uma placa aqui, vamos ver o que tá escrito. I can't reach it. Caraca. Vamos ver aqui dentro. Tanta coisa There's something aqui. Written. Tem alguma coisa escrito. Maybe it'll come in handy. Leave it. Go ahead and take it. It will open both your heart and your mind. Some stickers to support Tom Rayleigh's cause are included as well. Tom Rayleigh. We also need your help to make this artist known. Thanks. Prisons, the story of Tom Rayleigh. Hmm. Now I know why this book is free. It seems more like a series of rambling stories instead of a serious biography. Maybe there's just one bit of plausible information. Here it says that Tom Rayleigh's past is dark. He was repeatedly put in prison in Bone Town for being drunk and disorderly. The stickers are nice, but the book is useless to me. Ah, Tom. Ah, tá. A gente conseguiu usar adesivo. Probably someone else will find it more interesting. Ah, ele falou que esse tal de Tom teve um passado negro que foi preso por desordem e dirigir bêbado, alguma coisa assim. Vamos conversar com esse cara aqui primeiro, antes a gente começar a mexer nas coisas aqui. Bom good dia. Bom uh, dia. Bom dia. Posso fazer algo para você? Eu sou muito trabalhoso e eu odeio perder o tempo. Oh, louco. Você é o janitor do museu? Não. Eu sou o curador. É inglês, né? O inglês é diferente do americano. O inglês americano é diferente do britânico, né? Ah, ocupado fazendo o quê? Acho que você não entende. Parece que você não tem uma mente artista para entender. Por favor, sou bem curioso. Não. Ah, come on, share with me. Come on, share it with me. Um, uh, no. Oh, carinha chato, cara. Okay, I don't think I was thinking. Okay. Okay, I don't think it was that important anyway. Psicologia reversa, quer ver? Sabia? Você tá brincando comigo? My research is. Minha pesquisa é vital para a cidade Burnetown. Riches for peace of mind. Find your himself. What kind of research? What kind of research? Um, I'm trying to clear the name of one of the most controversial figures of Bone Town. Who are we talking about? Tom Rayleigh. He spent almost his whole life in here. Was he a researcher? No. This was a prison once. 
They say that Rayleigh, because of his alcohol problems, spent most of his sober time in here. In every town there's a drunkard. Um, no. Tom wasn't a drunkard. His artistic life was very troubled. My research proved that. Uh, he was not a drunkard. He was an artist with various problems. Um, yes. uh, you can find everything about it in the book I wrote on Rayleigh. You can take a copy if you like. Already done. Very illuminating. <laughs> What passage impressed you most? Hmm. Uh, o que mais impressionou no livro? Mas eu nem li o livro, cara. Praticamente tudo sobre Tom. Uh, ele foi um bêbado. When he talks about his family. When he talks about Parece que mais convencível. Here in Bone Town, he never had a family, but everybody considered him part of the city. Just what I meant. Por que você está tão obcecado por Tom? How come you're so obsessed with Tom Rayleigh? Um, it's not that I'm obsessed. Uh, não é uma obsessão. Tom Rayleigh was an artist, foi um artista, Some assim como eu. Here are his works. But, as with all misunderstood geniuses, he had a devil inside. Look. Um, some people claim that in the midst of a drunken stupor, he could produce his best works. But once he was sober, he destroyed those works because he deemed them not to have been done by him. And I, being a misunderstood genius myself, now want to clear his image. If you say so. And how do you think you can do that? Uh, I'm trying to recover all the works left by the master. And in the meantime, I'm tracing Ray's great-grandsons by delivering the only thing he left here in Bone Town. A uh, sua dignidade? His dignity? Uh, no. no. Money, a toothbrush. A toothbrush? Um, don't joke about that. We artists are not interested in personal care. I'm glad to hear that. I'm talking about that envelope. Uh, what? Uh, what? O que que tem dentro do envelope, né? Qual é o conteúdo? Um, Eu não know. sei. É um documento oficial classificado pela polícia e eu vou manter aqui no museu. Não vou ver. Ah, ok. Uh, o que há, qual é o conteúdo do e-mail? Oh, pode repetir sobre não. Goodbye. Que já uh, foi yes. tudo, né? Vamos, só vamos verificar os itens. O cara é um artista e tá meio que obcecado por esse tom aí. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Have you seen what is written? It's the property of But I'm ah, okay. a I'm a until then. Ah, tá. Até eu provar que eu sou It's part of the um parente exhibition. distante, eu não posso abrir nem pegar o envelope. Uma estátua. Eu tenho uma memória que pode nunca ser da minha mente. Eu não acho que eu preciso disso também. Ok. Eu não acho que isso vai vir em conta. Tá, parece que aqui não tem nada. Ah, tem nada, então vamos... Aqui também não tem nada. Nem adianta ir no restaurante ali, porque... Um poster aqui, eu não preciso disto. Lixo. Better not. It's like seeing my house. Even if I picked. Vamos para aquele outro lado da cidade, vamos ver o que tem. Bem, a gente já entrou aqui, a gente já entrou aqui. Vamos ver aqui. Apesar que tem um negócio aqui, né? Vamos ver o que está escrito aqui. I don't need copper. Tá. Parece que não é nada de importante. Tá, isso parece... Que estranho, que lugar, que lugar é esse? É uma casa? Vamos entrar. Ah, the don't seem safe. I don't risk é, realmente a, a, as escadas não vão lugar pra vocês, tá não. Objetos, vamos ver. 
Isso aqui parece um hotel. Paperwork anyway. que talvez aqui esses papéis não ajudem em nada. Better ask for permission. I'd risk looking like a thief. Melhor pedir permissão para olhar porque não quer parecer como se fosse um ladrão. I'm sorry. Me desculpa. Some important notes and I don't want to lose them. Sure. Ok, Steve. Ué. Ah, uh, good morning, Steve. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. I'm sorry. Do, do we know each other? Nós con nos while. conhecemos. Faz um. Ah, é o tio dele. There's only one child that called me. It can't be. Lily. Lily. Is that really you? É realmente yes, você? It's really me. Lily Morgan. Lily Morgan. So, how are you? Sorry if I don't get up, but my back is killing me. Sitting here all day is bad for my health. All good, Steve. Thank you. Tell me, what brought you back to Bone Town? It's been years since the last time I saw you. Okay. Ele perguntou o que me traz de volta à cidade, fazendo que ele não me vê, que as costas dele tá matando ele. Ah, uh, que me traz de volta para a cidade é o aniversário da morte do meu pai. Da morte não, né? Do desaparecimento. Sabia se comemorava isso? Already ten years. Time seems to have stopped in Bone Town since then. It's not refuge in my job to forget. I don't see your mother. Does she know you're here? I told her I was leaving. She's away on a business trip. How is she? I tried many times to contact you in recent years, but she never answered. It was very tough for her too. She preferred to make a clean break from the past, concentrating on me and her job. Bone Town is a memory that still hurts a lot. I understand. Ah, uh, ele perguntou se onde, como tá a mãe dele, se ela sabe que ele tá se ela sabe que ele tá aqui aí ele falou que a mãe dela que a mãe dele tá viajando e se concentra no trabalho dele que aí ela não lembra dessa cidade que essa cidade tem memórias que machucam ela Can I borrow stand How are things going here in Bonnie Town? Do you remember what's happening to my father? Uh... Do you remember what happened to my father? It's always painful for me to talk about Henry. We grew up almost like brothers. Before he decided to leave and become one of the most famous archaeologists in the world. Despite his work, he always found the time to come back here to the family and to meet his old friends. Unfortunately, his disappearance is still shrouded in mystery. The night before that fateful day, we went out together. We said goodbye in front of the old inn and he was staying. The next morning, I stopped by to say hello. There was no trace of him. His room was intact. The innkeeper said he didn't see him going out. That's all I know. Since then, I've been racking my brain to understand what happened. Henry seems to have vanished in the thin air. Just like Mom always tells me. Okay. Falou que o pai dele não lembra muita do coisa. Que o pai dele desapareceu do nada. Ah, uh, você sabe by any chance? Você sabe? É. Ele tá perguntando aqui se se ele tem alguma Consegue saber o que o pai dele estava trabalhando? Algo mais. Não sabia que ah, uh, você sabe o que aconteceu com meu pai? Como as coisas estão aqui na cidade? Não estão muito bem. Sim, quando problema? Tu bateu a bicicleta com tudo, meu filho. Ah, uh, you mean lack? Courtesy. You mean the lack of courtesy at the old inn? Are you staying at the old inn? The owner seems to be grumpy and surly. But actually, actually, all right. I'll try to talk to him at the first opportunity. I'll write it down among the many things to do. I'd let you stay here, but to deal with the city expenses, I left my old house. Now I sleep in that little room over there. It's the only way I've found to be able to run Bone Town as best as I can. Have you ever thought of hiring someone to give you a hand? Yes, but funds are limited. Nobody wanted to take on this responsibility. Okay. I saw some construction work on the buildings. That's one of the bigger problems in the city. It seems that our water resources are drying up. Some people say that upriver, certain companies have been doing excavations that caused the fracturing of some faults. But I launched an investigation. There's no correlation. So I'm trying to solve the problem by recovering rainwater. 
And at the moment, it seems to be working. I hope so for Bonetown. Uh, I, can I borrow a Can tape? I borrow a stamp? Stamp. As long as you use it responsibly. Even if they're dated back, they're the official stamps of Bonetown. Thanks. I'll use them well. Actually, when you're finished with your stuff, you can help me out with that stamp. I have a lot of paperwork to authenticate. Gladly. Hi, Steve. Hi, Willie, and welcome back to Bonetown. I can't show you around, but for anything else, feel free to ask. Thanks. Okay. Do you remember what happened to my father? It's always painful for me to talk about him. He grew up despite his work. I think it's all I know. His room was all I know since then. Just like. Okay, vamos ver. See you later. See you later. Come back whenever you want. You'll always find me here. Thanks. You'll always find me here. Uh, I might need one. I'll take the more worn one. Que que nós pegamos? Ah, que que é isso? It's an official stamp of Bone Town. I don't want to waste it like that. 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 É, pelo jeito não serve para nada. E vamos voltar. Bem pessoal, vou ficar com esse capítulo por aqui. É, foi muito mais informação do que ação, mas de qualquer forma a, precisava ser feito, né? Muito obrigado pela presença de todos. Se cuidem, um grande abraço, até mais. Fui!